and welcome to McLaren Automotive. My name is Alan Foster, I'm the Manufacturing Director and I'll give you a short explanation of how we put together the SLR. The first impressions of anyone visiting the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren Assembly Hall is one of order, cleanliness, precision and hand craftsmanship. Couple with this though, behind the scenes are state-of-the-art manufacturing systems and processes to ensure every SLR produced maintains an incredibly high standard. Every aspect of building an SLR is treated with a considered and careful approach to ensure quality is built into every component fitted to the vehicle. Here we see the SLR 732 edition being fitted with its unique 19 inch ceramic brakes which are significant improvements in braking performance. The SLR 722 edition is specified with unique red brake calipers, which have also undergone significant developments and redesign. This is to enhance the high speed braking performance following feedback from our customers. Each engine fitted to the SLR is hand built by technicians from the AMG Mercedes Affelterback facility in Germany. They are so proud of what they do and feel so responsible for what they have built that they fit a personalised engraved plaque to the engine with their name on it. Each engine is completed by the technician. It is assigned to a unique vehicle. Here you see the engine fitment process in real time. It looks quick, but the two technicians carefully guide the engine into place, ensuring that there are no trapped wires or pinched cables or pipes that could affect the performance of the car at some point in the future. McLaren wants to ensure that the total driving experience for the customer no matter how long they have the car, is as pleasing and rewarding as the first day. With the engine in place, the final step is to secure it using only hand tools, in this case a torque wrench. The technician verifies the correct bolt tightness. Throughout the assembly process, hand tools are predominantly used. This allows the technicians, many of whom used to build McLaren Formula 1 race cars, to ensure precision and quality is maintained at all times. The assembly hall is divided into two lines. The left hand side mainly consists of electrical and mechanical items, components that provide the performance and functionality of the vehicle. The complete vehicle is electronically certified before it is passed to the second half of the line. The right hand side concentrates on items the customer perceives during their driving experience. The soft trim, seats, steering wheel, the fit and furniture components and their tactility. These are the human interface aspects of the car and equally important to the ownership experience. The overall fit and finish of components such as doors is very high on the list of customer expectations and great care is taken to position the doors so that they both look great when closed but also function with the lowest effort for the customer. As the body has a solid rear form, the assembly method for closures is from rear to front. This ensures each part fits and aligns perfectly with its neighbour. On the SLR there are no colour matching issues as all the components are painted together from a single batch of paint and then stored ready for fitment to a specific vehicle. One of the core philosophies of McLaren can be seen here, that of form following function. Take the side panel design, the vents are not just there for styling as they are on some other cars. The vents serve to dissipate exhaust system heat as the main exhaust units run directly behind this panel. The exhaust routing therefore allows us to provide a completely flat underfloor, thereby enhancing the car's aerodynamic performance. Some components are assembled and functionally tested away from the main line, simply for space purposes. The work is undertaken by McLaren technicians, who then bring the components to the car and fit them. This way we ensure consistency of craftsmanship and pride of ownership by the technicians. With the engine top shell complete, one of the last components to be fitted are the vehicle's lights. Even though the lights are received as quality assured components from our supplier, the technician carries out a short functional check before allowing the car to move on in the process. Final adjustment of closures takes place towards the end of the assembly line. Here you see the top shell hinges being adjusted for balance and smoothness of the assist cylinders as the panel is very large. It is equally important for us at McLaren that the customer's tactile experience of the car is as rewarding as the driving experience. The SLR 732 is a car of breathtaking performance engineered to incredibly tight tolerances as you would expect but that approach and level of detail is carried into the finish of the car where the tight control of gap and flush conditions is given the same degree of concentration and effort. 
This helps maximise the visual impact of an already elegant and stylish machine. As the car nears completion, the unique SLR 722 edition wheels are fitted. This is an excellent opportunity to reinforce the level of attention and care taken in building an SLR. The sockets used for the wheel nuts are coated in a foam sleeve to prevent any contact with the painted surface of the wheel. Even with such dedication and attention to detail, no vehicle is dispatched to the customer without a thorough final inspection. This process takes about six hours and covers every aspect of functionality, fit and finish. The car is positioned under a special lighting rig which shows up the slightest of imperfections within the paintwork. Anything that is observed is indicated using a special marker for rectification. Our inspectors are routinely calibrated by the Mercedes-Benz quality department to ensure brand standard consistency. They work methodically over the vehicle. The whole car is audited against a technical specification and also from the customer's perception. If our auditors find anything, it's noted in the vehicle's unique history file for correction before the vehicle is released to the assembly hall. This way McLaren ensures that the customer receives a perfect vehicle that satisfies their expectation. Many of the checks are visual, but in addition there are some by touch, looking for things like sharpness and minute deformation, or the check may be an audible one, listening for creaks or other such noises that may annoy a customer and detract from the driving experience. Having completed all the external checks, the interior of the car is given the same meticulous inspection to provide a consistent brand standard. Actually, the interior is where the customer spends most of their time, so the overall standard here is very detailed indeed for the fit and finishing components. Great pride goes into the manufacture of an SLR and we at McLaren want our customers to have the same sense through their ownership experience. Once the car has been checked by the auditor, it is passed back to the production technicians that built it to rectify anything that has been found. Each vehicle also receives a comprehensive assessment for weight distribution, water integrity and drive function. The car then receives its certification and information labels as well as its unique owner's manual which is boxed and secured in the car. The footwell and boot carpets are finally fitted and once this is done the car receives its final polish and transport protection before the quality order certifies that it can be released from the production hall. Even with all the diagnostic and technical checks on the vehicle, the human interface and driving experience is the ultimate confirmation. Therefore, McLaren insists that every car undergoes a drive assessment with one of our certified test drivers. This is to ensure consistency of the driving experience. It is their job to check for any unusual noises that may detract from the customer's enjoyment. They also check for handling or vibration on a specially designed track. Only when the whole car comes together in this way can we ensure the vehicle meets and exceeds the customer's expectation and provides its owner with a memorable experience.